Hey, welcome back. We headed to Slabville, USA, baby. Stick around. <laughs> so we are fishing a river, looking for a spawning crappie, of course. Fishing what? What are we fishing? Spot. It's been today. We've been fishing five to twelve foot of water, mainly sticking in the six to seven foot range. But fishing in like. Yeah, well, but but yeah, but catching forward. yeah, catching fish in like like he said, twelve to fourteen inch, inch inches of water. Yeah, so <laughs> I mean, however deep that is, what is that? Not, like not not long. Yeah, it's about six inches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so water temperature is seventy two. Water temperature is seventy two. Basically, what we're doing is we're hitting these we're hitting these bank lines here. Let me put this down. So what we're doing is we're hitting these bank lines and we're hitting you know stick ups and logs and stuff. And I'm telling you, we're catching fish on like like in like very 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 shallow water. So I'm hoping he would pick one up right here. But let me throw you on a chest. We're gonna we're gonna get to it here. So different style today. We're using uh, bobber technique. So we're using slip corks, bobbers, whatever you want to call them. So I got a bobber in about I don't know a foot below that. I have an eighth ounce. No, I'm sorry, a sixteenth ounce jig head. They're, they really like it today. We've already got eight on the boat. And then the color I'm using today is called Therapy by Fin Commander. There we go. All right. So anyway, when you're using bobbers like this, we're using weighted bobbers. I don't know if you like them. Do you like the weighted bobber? Absolutely, that's the ones I use. Yeah, so we're using weighted bobbers, and all that means is that the bobber on the bottom has that little ring, that little lead ring right there, um, and that just keeps the bobber, it helps the bobber pop up faster, gets gets us set, ready to catch these slabs. So all I'm going to do is pitch it. So I'm looking for any brush that they may be up against, because, you know, they're up in these creeks spawning right now. So what I want to look for is anything that might be under any cover. Shallow water, Oop. logs such as that one right there. You're just going to throw it in there. And what happens is that bobber, the waves on the lake are making a big bounce in the water down there. That's really all I've been doing. It's it's a slower style of fishing, but when they hook up, they hook up, son. Watch this. Right there. That's where he is, right there. Here we go. Come on. So that's the type of stuff I've been fishing right there. Hugging logs. Yeah, I mean, like right on. I mean, I've been hugging tree limbs. If you can, if you can manage, put the lure on the tree limb and then kind of pull it so it falls right in the water. That has worked several times for me today. Oops. Oh, well. We're going to fish it, though. We're going to fish it. Ooh, you get that out of there. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a professional, sir. You're a professional. You got that just jammed up yep, in there. I did. <laughs> So that's one downfall of fishing like this. We have been nothing short of getting stuck. I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? Pretty much constantly. <laughs> Every fifth or sixth cast, one of us is tied up on something. So, like I said, we've been fishing these stumps and stuff, and one of the things with a bobber is you gotta constantly adjust it up and down depending on what, how the depth of the water is, and that way you're not doing stuff like that. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, you gotta, sometimes you gotta adjust the depth, uh, which right here is a probably a good example of I was probably just a little bit too shallow. I don't know, I'll give it five or six more inches there, or I'm sorry, three or four more inches there, just to see what we can't do. It's showing that there's some fish here. The trick is to see what they're wanting to bite, if at all. This is probably the most open stump we've fished all day today, too. Oh, cool. Come on, come on, they're tickling it. They're playing with it. probably a bluegill. Oh, it probably is. It was a little bite. I want to go a little bit deeper. So whenever I want to adjust the, the uh, depth, of a bobber, especially these weighted ones, all you gotta do is push these plastic pieces down and those those keepers open. So I do them at the same time, and then I just, or you can just slide it up the line there. Boop. So let's say you wanted to present these fish a more vertical presentation. A way you can do that is you let your line out. I'm six foot tall, so I'll put my jig on the, on the bottom of the boat right there, put my foot on it. And I come to my pole and I find six foot of length right there. That's my six foot mark. And that's about how deep they are. So I clip my bobber on right around that six foot mark. I put my weight down because I want the weight to go down into the water. And then I'll wrap my line onto there like that. And so now I have a six foot jig, basically. Where's it tree? So 12 feet out is where I want to be. So I'm going to cast it like right there. And we're just going to let that jig sit over that tree. You're like right on top yep. of it. Yep. And so that jig is now sitting out there on that tree and I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know give it a little bit of wiggle but what that's doing is it's keeping that jig right there you know we're back fit 12 feet 14 feet but it's kept it keeping that jig directly over it giving it a more vertical presentation so the, the advantage with live scope is i can see exactly where my jig is and now that jig is 
it's at the top of the tree so it's dancing right there at the top of the tree the same thing i'm gonna wiggle it around you know give it a couple shakes see what happens maybe they take it maybe they don't that's the joys of fishing that's why it's called fishing not catching right right <laughs> your lure's like yeah. See, once you get it in there, then you, you can still work it like you would normally. Just the advantage with the bobber, I'm showing you this for people that fish on the bank, fish that fish out of people that fish off of kayaks or off of, you know, piers or bridges or whatever. I mean, yeah, we're on a boat and I'm kind of directly over it. But the advantage to this is I could cast out, you know, 10, 15, 20 feet and it would be the same as if you were floating over them like we are. And that's the, that's the advantage of using a, a bobber or slip cork, whatever you, whatever, you know, whatever you call it, whatever you grew up calling it, same thing. And so all I'll do is, like I said, I'll take that rod tip, I'll shake it around a little bit, get it a little bit of motion oh, fishing on that bank. yeah oh there's fish all over this bank there we go that's the ticket right there and see now you get us you can you can see the advantage here so i'm on the boat but like if i was on the bank i could cast out and now that jig is sitting straight up and down like you want it to be and you can still work it so you just bounce it bounce it bounce it bounce it bounce it and it gives a little action to the lure um but you just got to find the hot spot you got to find where they are that's the tricky part it's finding where they are which is time of the year they're gonna be shallow you know they're gonna be they're gonna be spawning Water temperatures are getting warmer. Fish are getting hungrier. Hmm. There you go. Oh, I saw him. Saw it, I saw him get it. Let me go in there and back you up. Let me go in there and back you up one time. Right back you up just one time here. See, he had to hit and it's, I mean, it's probably 18 inches deep right there, if that. Probably not even that deep. Joker said, wham. He did, he wanted that joker. Here you go. There we go. Watch this. Watch this right here. Oh, you got to catch him. That well, dude. You, he didn't bite. He didn't. Oh, hey, he's underwater. He didn't set the hook off. Mess up now. He, get, no. he didn't set the hook all the way. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's underwater, sir. No, it wasn't. Hold on. Hold your horses. We got him right here. Watch this. Ready, guys? 18 inches of water. All those tips I just gave you. <laughs> there you go. Dang, oh. Hey, you got to relax. There we go. Oh, oh that's a bluegill. Let's see. Oh, Roger Rill up here more excited than me. <laughs> I hate to see a fish get away. Me too. Me too. Me too. But he's in there though. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. 18 inches of water, baby. What I tell y'all? What I tell you? Look at that slab city, baby. I'm telling you. If you need, if you don't know how to use a slip cork slash bobber. To catch slabs, just do what I just did, and you'll be on. Look, she's still full of eggs. What is this? A male or female? Let's Push see. On his belly. See what comes out. Anything? Yep, eggs. That's a female right there. Nice little female, huh? That's a good one right there. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that was what? 18 inches of water tops. Boom. 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 That's a good one right there. There's a, her, his friends. Her friends right here. Her boyfriend's sitting right here. I just saw him what, too. What's interesting is we usually pull one. I just saw him maybe too. Maybe two off of a pile. Yeah, usually. Right now we're pulling one or two off and then the pile's done. Yeah, we'll catch one or two off of this and get him over. But his little girl, her little boyfriend's right here chilling. Chilling. Hey, right, we back. So another style bobber you can use is is this style. I don't know what it's called. It, um, it's got a little spring on the bottom. That's all I know. And so they're super easy to attach. All you do, similar to the other ones, but what you're going to do is get you a length of line like this. Okay. Then you got this spring on the bottom. Pull that spring back to that little channel's exposed. Hook that line in there. Let that spring go. That's all you got to do. Set it down like that. And then watch this. I'm going to cast it right in here. We're going to catch big mama. Watch this right here. Watch this. She's coming. She's coming in hot. It's a little far back, but we're going to get her. Look, 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 look. Thump. Oh, come on. We're going to get right in that tree right there. Watch this. Slab City coming soon. Watch this. You got to get up in that brush. Right at the fingers of it. Right where that shade is over, over the brush pile. Let it sit in there. Okay. Okay. But you fishing that stump? Fishing that stump. Roger and Real coming in hot with a stud. Huh? Nice white crappie. Yeah. It's tight and light. Nice white crappie. Oh, gosh. Nice white crappie, sir. That is a good one. Are you, what are we fishing? That stump right there? Yeah. It's like the I mean, it's like the second one we caught off the stump. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I have a I have a tree. You got a tree Gosh dang it again. Look at that snake going on the bank. He's got a fish. See him? Yeah, he sure does. A little crappie. A little crappie. That, that snake's got a little crappie in his face. That snake has a little crappie in his mouth. It sure does. Wow. That's cool. Oh. Hit a hit. Add that poquito. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's no poquito. That's a that's a good. Nice. That's a nice look. Well, how crazy is that? 
You got a snake on the bank right there with a, a crop. It is. Snake. I'm, I'm gonna I hear. Go I'm gonna. There, but... I'm gonna switch to my phone. I'm gonna zoom in with my phone. Look at that fish. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go to my phone real quick. I'm gonna show y'all. Look, there's a there's a. There's can you go for it at all? The fish are right here, man. Oh. I ain't blowing these fish out. <laughs> so that snake is right. I love you. But that snake's gonna that eat. That snake is right. Oh my gosh, where's my finger at? Right. This is hard. Where's my hand? Right there. You can't I always really say see it. fish where the snakes are hanging from the trees. Yeah, they do. That was horrible on the, on a the, on the camera there, but. There's a snake sitting right there. Yeah, we, we uh, one of the, I guess it's a, a thing. We didn't know it was a thing until a couple weeks ago. We had a more experienced gentleman tell us, uh, hey, look for snakes in trees. If there's a snake in a tree, fish for their, fish right there for crappie. And I'll tell you what, there's a fish right there in the tree. We've pulled, what, th two off this thing so far? Three? Uh, three. Again, huh? Look at you go. Well, that's a poquito. <laughs> What kind of gear are we working with here, sir? What are we using? Uh, what are we using? 16th ounce jig head straight out of Walmart. Hey. And then your, uh, you know, purple and chartreuse tail. I always clip the tail off a little bit, make a little, I don't know why I do it. <laughs> I catch fish doing it. <laughs> hey, it works. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna encroach in your spot now. You, you're pulling them off of there. So what, what kind of action are you doing with your lure? Go out there, let it sit. Uh-huh. Let it sit for about a three count, pop it. Let it sit for a couple seconds, just pop it. And mm -hmm. I like it between where you're at and the stump. I've so never just, caught one that far out, but they might be that far yeah, out. But so you're just popping it. It's easy enough. Just like that. That's the piece. See if old Rods and Reels technique plays out four times. In, oh, 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 had a little hit. Four right there. I know. Had a hit. There it is. You, there it is. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good fish. That is a good fish right there. Man, ow, ow, ow. It never gets old. It doesn't get old. That's a nice, that's a nice white crappie. Nice. There you go. Cast it out. Set your bobber about, you know, eight to nine inches above your lure. Yeah, I think we're deeper than that. I'm not. Cast it are? out there and then pop, pop, pause. Pop, pop, pause. You can take a picture of that, huh? Oh, I've got it on video. It's good enough. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can go for a, for a, for a duo here. Uh oh, I'm on the stick. My lure's not sinking. There we go. There we go. Look at that. You see how dove it down on me? You like that? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, you had him. <laughs> I did. Oh, the snake left the fish there. Oh, he's, yeah. He'll come back. Maybe he's up there sunbathing. He's probably tired. He, he pulled that fish from underwater out to the bank up there. Oh, it did. Right there. There it is. There it is. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, doink. You're about two inches deeper than I am. Yeah. There we go. Look at them slabs, baby. There you go. Slip, slip cork, man. Bobber. I use both names because some people call it slip cork. Some of them call it bobber. Some of them call it a float. You get the, you get the gist of it. When we were kids, we were too poor to, not too poor. We just, we were too, too thrifty. Cheap. We were thrifty. We were too cheap. We get sticks. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we just get sticks and tie the string onto the stick, and that stick will catch you a fish all day. Yep. Use the stick as the bobber, oh, well, thank you. You can go get one of them branches right there and cut yep. it about three inches long. Yep. Tie it on there and catch fish all day. You may have to do that one of these days. Just to prove it. It can be done. I'm like crazy that fish, that snake left that dog on. Yeah, hey, he just left it there. Maybe that's the gut. Oh, look, the turtle's getting it now. The turtle's oh, getting it. Going. Oh, turtle's in, in the house. Uh, hold that for a second. Look, look at this. Look, oh man, look right there. See that turtle? Munching, son. Munching. So that is, so the snake pulled that up there, and now this turtle is just, he's, oh, there it is. He turtle just fell off, but there it is right there. How funny is that? That's cool, man. That's really cool. Nature. Nate, do I have a fish there? No. He hooked up that stump again. I want, I want to have a steady, consistent motion. I don't know why it's not standing up. You're... Oh gosh, dang! <laughs> Swallowed it, I was watching you! <laughs> oh, I was watching him. There we go. He swallowed that joker, look at that thing. I don't know what. Man, that does not get old. Nope. Left side of that pile, huh? Yep, yeah, just, uh, just popping it like you said, like but but you know I had a, I, like I said consistent slow consistent motion. That's all I was doing. Pop pop, let it sit. Pop pop, let it sit. Just like you said. 
But it goes to show y'all, the bobbers help. I'm telling you, they can help immensely with the presentation of your bait. You know, we're 15, 20 foot off of the go. The cameras do a horrible job of giving depth. We're, I don't know, how far do you think we are? 20 feet off of that? Yeah. Watch this. Yeah, this is perfect right here. I'm going to pull this fish off this hole right here. Oh, gosh, it's still too, too, too tight. So what I want to do is pitch this bobber up in this thick stuff, boy. Yep, 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 yep. Right there. That's exactly where I want it. Right there. Oh, just had it. Just got it, got it, got it, got nice it. Black. Beautiful, beautiful black crappie. Oh my goodness, boys and girls. Look at, dude, folks, look at this. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Got a tuxedo on. Man. Are you kidding me? Look how beautiful that is. I'm, that's, I, I love catching black crappie. I really do. They're not that common around here. Real common in Florida and in South Carolina. Not that common right here in Texas. Well, this lake anyway. So, man, that was fun. But I'm telling y'all, you put your jig right up underneath these limbs. I think I've called every one of them shots so far. I just lost one, like, right there. I'll pick him up. Watch this. I'm going to spot like right here. And they're pretty, they're pretty peculiar spots. I'm not going to lie. You're going to throw your jig in there and think, oh, my gosh, this isn't going to work. And that's where I've been catching them at right now. But like we were saying earlier, usually when you're fishing stuff this shallow and this close and they've got the gap this small, you pull one out of there, one or two, especially if it comes out screaming like that one did, it's usually it. You're probably done after that. Boom! Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope the tips help y'all out. I hope that y'all can put some of that to practice. Listen, don't overthink it. You heard what old Roger and Reel said. Take a stick if you have to. Wrap that mug around your fishing line. Get it in the water and catch some fish. It, dude, I'm telling you, you know what I always say? Don't stop the dangle. I mean it. Do what you can. Do what you will. If you're in my area, hit me up. I'll take you. Always an open invitation. I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next upload. And all, as always, don't stop the dangle. Peace! Peace!